Hey friend, David here from Learn a Stage Lighting, and today this is gonna be fun. We're gonna review the DJ lighting software Sound Switch, and we're gonna talk about okay, is this the right software for you? Is this a good software for DJs even, or does it just stink? I'll give you a hint, it doesn't just stink, and I gotta thank the people at SoundSwitch for sending me over a SoundSwitch interface so I could make this review. Now, what is SoundSwitch? Grab your coffee and let's dive in, because this is a little bit different. Normally, most of what I cover on this channel is our lighting consoles designed for people to run lights on for a show, right? And for the most part, there's a lot of consoles out there, a lot of good ones if you want to get started with DJ lighting, and you've got someone to run things. I, I've talked about this here uh, just the other day, actually, link to that video there, and it's something I'll talk about more. Sometimes, you know, just like with band lighting, I, I teach DMXs, and I have people use that when they want to run things automated from their stage. Uh, you can use DMXs with DJ lighting, but if you're using a DJ software, like most mobile DJs I think these days are, then why not have a program like SoundSwitch right here on the monitor, which can actually work right with your DJ program to get you great lighting. Sounds like a win-win. So let's dive in. When you first launch SoundSwitch, just to give you an example of how things work, you get edit and perform mode. Now, perform mode, if we go into that, um, is going to be the mode where you basically um, hook up your DJ software, like I could activate Ableton Link real quick, and then I see the lights behind me start flashing in an auto loop. I actually have a MIDI controller and I can, I can switch those auto loops if I want, okay? That's the first mode. All right, we're gonna shut that off. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in there because I don't use DJ software. But the cool thing about this is that if we pop back over and switch modes, file switch mode to edit mode, now we've got your entire music library here from whatever DJ program you use, and it's totally available for you to use. You can go find it in here. And so what I'm gonna do here is just launch the help file because the help file has some audio in it and I used it, the walkthrough. I just went to help walkthrough and then I'll press exit. So one of the cool things I think about SoundSwitch, a uh, first thing that I think is really awesome, is they give you this nice grid here where you're able to bring in all your different lights. Here, they've got some here. And I've brought in my lights here that are here in my studio. And then you're able to just simply, as you find parts of the song, say I play it back real quick. And I'm able, as you saw, to synchronize lighting right here. Just like, say I wanted something new here. I could totally go in here, drag out an effect that I want for a measure or two. It's getting this off of the BPM of the song, um, possibly from your DJ software if you have one. And then I can go in here and just drag something in that I want it to do. So maybe I do an RGB color sequence, quarter inch length, boom, it overwrote what I had. And now I saw that on this light here, which is the one that's that's in my backdrop uh, that you can see right there. And so that's cool. It's like, the way that I look at a program like this is that it's perfect for you if you're using a DJ program, you want something hands off. Now, you may have noticed you say, okay, David, you know, one of the downsides that I've found to programs like SoundSwitch in the past, because there's been other ones out there. You know, here I've got is the ability to basically, um, the need, rather, to have to pre-program every song you're going to do because that sounds like a boatload of work, right? Yeah, nobody wants to do that. And I think SoundSwitch addresses that well because it kind of has this way of generating effects using its logic without you having to generate them. So as a DJ, say you're a mobile DJ, there are going to be songs that you know you're going to use a lot, you know, whether it's the, the latest popular stuff or some classics that are always going to be around, you know, Sweet Caroline. It plays at every wedding, right? Or um, Don't Stop Believing's the end song at like almost every wedding. And you know that you're going to use these songs all the time. And so you can pre-program them here in SoundSwitch. But if you don't want to do that, 
you can totally go and they're in here somewhere there is a place automation auto script where I can do this and I can say okay you know basically here are my intensities maybe I want some base intensity because it's a corporate thing and I want to always have some light in the room okay uh, you know then movement speed okay this song is gonna go fast or maybe let's do sweet Caroline so maybe I don't want them to pulse up to full intensity and then the color change speed we'll keep that at slow too. low BPM I'm gonna hit because I want this to be a slow song okay then I go into my colors here you can set the colors that you want you can use these different positions here if you want or just send them all over boom every eight beats I want to change that's great that's pretty typical in music and then I press start it looks at the audio of course Oh, I was kind of sequencing for Sweet Caroline here, and that is not the music track in here. And now it's auto-sequenced that song. Not only that, but I can play it just for an example. Not only that, but this is cool. If you're in a live mode, let's go back into, into perform mode, actually. And say I'm here, first of all, there's venues, that's cool too. Uh, so if you use different venues or different sets of lights, you can bring your whole library in. You know, keep all the stuff you kept with your other setup, but create a new DMX patch and, and new um, lighting cues. So I go to my, my thing here. And then here in MIDI, I'll turn on my MIDI controller. Woo! And then what we're going to see here is we actually can have all these auto loops that automatically play when there's no info. And I can right click and map these to my MIDI controller like I've done here. You can see they're here on my Akai APC40. And that's one of the things I'm kind of digging here about SoundSwitch is that it's like, okay, it's got this hybrid approach for a DJ. And I talked to my friend Chris Lloyd actually in a podcast. We'll link to that here. Um, it's got the ability to have this fully automatic mode, kind of like an intelligent sound active mode. It also has the ability to have static looks that I can map to my MIDI controller, hit play, override the programming that's happening, or give some action for a song that I don't know. And then it also has the ability to be able to sequence a song perfectly. Be able to go in like we were before with the sequencer into edit mode be able to drag in all the lighting effects I want and be able to play them back. So is sound switch right for you? That, that's really the big question how I kind of end all my reviews. Um, I think it's a solid program. In my experimentation and a day or two of programming with it, I can tell you that it hasn't been buggy. It hasn't crashed at all. Uh, there's PC and Mac versions. So whichever platform you're on, you're good. And I think it's a solid buy if you're a DJ. If you're a band, don't buy this. If you're a church, don't buy this. Um, if you're a production company, this is not for you. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things, I've got links below to where you can buy it too on Amazon and you can get a demo version um, as well. But it's one of those things that's really cool because they, get, they price it now as a software as a service, basically a monthly cost. So when you're using it, when you've got gigs, you can pay for it. If you decide to pause your DJ business for a while or it's something you only do occasionally, you can cancel it and resubscribe when you need it. Uh, or just keep it and it's a low monthly cost as long as you're doing gigs it's well paid for um, but I think it's one of these things that man as a DJ you know this is the kind of thing that I think should get you excited because instead of just having sound active mode you can have fully synchronized light shows and it's not that hard to do not only that but it's one of those things that's going to help you outshine the competition in your area where you work so that you can create the best lighting possible, bring um, you know, much more value to your clients, which at the end of the day brings more dollars into your bank account as a DJ. If you're just a hobbyist or something like that, this might not be right for you. But for kind of that gigging, gigging DJ, the kind of person who you know, wants to um, do that kind of stuff, man, I think SoundSwitch is a great buy. I love all the integrations it has. I'll have the official website below, all the different programs it works with, etc. And um, yeah, I definitely think it's worth a go. So if you enjoyed this, guys, thumbs up and subscribe here on Learn Stage Lighting to get more resources about beginning with lighting. And if you're here, you're new with DJ Lighting, check out my guide, Four Things You Need to Know. 
before you buy any DJ lights. I want to help save you time, save you money, and save you frustration. With that, guys, thanks for watching.